So I wanted to align the tail stock on my new mini lathe, and when I looked up how to do that, I found this really neat trick where you turn a point in the chuck to get the center of rotation, and then put a dead center in the tail stock to get a rough idea of its alignment. Okay, my tail stock here is a bit too low and to the left. No big deal, a uh, quick loosening of the retaining bolts plus some soda can shims can solve the height. And let's get this thing realigned on the x-axis. Okay, uh, no problem, let's just slide this to the right a little bit. Oh, no, okay, that was that was too far. Okay, bit to the left, no. Now we're too far the other way. Okay, there we go, perfect. Now to tighten up the side screws and... Okay, I know I could just get good at aligning your tailstock by hand, but it's surprisingly difficult to get that thing aligned perfectly, um, just with how easy it is to overshoot or undershoot. Um, so I think I have a little mechanism that'll make it a whole lot easier to align, so let's, let's check that out. Okay, I think this will be a pretty simple one. So all we need is some way to control the position of this tailstock in this axis. And big lathes, uh, what they usually do is they put some kind of lead screw in uh, that you can turn a bolt and that adjusts the position of the tailstock. I don't want to have to drill a hole and add that kind of assembly in into the lathe. I don't think there's room and I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense. So I'm thinking we don't actually need to control the position of this side. If we can index this side of the tailstock to some kind of bolt or some kind of screw, uh, it'll make it way easier to align the center of the tailstock with the center of rotation. And we should be able to do that with something like this. Uh, so it's just a very simple, again, another T-shaped thing, if you saw my last video, with a nut that is embedded into it. And then I was thinking I would drill and tap holes in the tailstock assembly, but I had another thought. I'm pretty sure that magnets will work pretty well. So I think that's worth a shot uh, of anything else. So bored a couple holes, uh, leaving a little bit in the bottom. Put the magnets in, stick it to the side of the lathe, and yeah, let's see if this thing works. So it has occurred to me that this bolt is going to take all of the paint off of this side of the tailstock. So let's go ahead and throw something together that'll stop that from happening. And with that issue resolved, the part is done. It sticks to the side of the lathe quite well and gives us a fine feed adjustment to manage the position of the tailstock. So now that we have that all done, it's time to loosen the three retaining bolts that are holding the tailstock assembly in place and see if we can get this thing properly aligned. All right, so first things first, let's move this over to our indexing tool and see where it lands. Looks like it's too far to the left, so tightening the screws a little will get us closer. Unfortunately, we still need to move the tailstock by hand with this method, but having an adjustable reference to align makes the process go a whole lot quicker. And there we go, it looks good. Keeping a little pressure on the side to make sure everything is squared up, it is time to tighten down the side screws and keep it in place while the main hold down bolt is loose. Okay, perfect, still looking good. Now to pull the tailstock off the lathe and tighten down the main screw on the bottom. Alright, so assuming nothing went wrong, we should have the tailstock that is now more or less aligned with the center of rotation. Final checks and things are looking good. And that's it. I'm super happy with how this part turned out. I think it is 
very useful in making the tailstock alignment process a heck of a lot easier. Uh, being able to fine tune your adjustments with a screw thread really reduces the number of iterations that need to be done to get this thing properly aligned. And yeah, I think I'm going to keep using it to align the tailstock whenever I need to. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.